Hey everyone, welcome back to Legend of Lagaya. Now I last time finished off getting all of the, uh, actually from last time, I got all the equipment that I needed and uh, luckily I saved before going in this because I went to use the inn and was uh, greeted to another dream sequence. So uh, we're back in uh, in Jeremy here and we're gonna go we're gonna go to the inn and watch another dream that Noah's about to have because it's actually kind of important so I uh, I'm very happy that I say before coming in and accidentally seeing it. Where's the end? It's the left, isn't it? It's left. Yeah, of course. Leave it to me to go the wrong direction. Welcome, brave Saru wearers. Do you wish to spend the night? Yeah, she's not going to charge us. I can't take your money. Enjoy your stay. Um... Well then, there was a dream sequence <laughs> the last time I stayed here before, bef after I had saved previously. Uh, I saved, came in here, and had a dream sequence. Um, well then, maybe I, I don't understand why I didn't have it. Okay then, uh, well, in case I get it later... Uh, I'm not going to say too much about it because I don't remember. It's been a couple of weeks, actually. This is really confusing why it didn't happen. But uh, it was a dream from her parents. Her parents were talking to her, tell her telling her to, uh, to to come find them, basically. Um, I don't know why that didn't happen. I'm confused. But let's go talk to Zalan since we're here. Oh, hello. I've been waiting for you. Ah, did you give my wife and son a letter I asked you to deliver? Uh, yes. However... gave the ring. Yuma's ring to Zalan. This... this is the ring I gave Yuma. Must voice the silence, everyone. I see. So Yuma is no longer with us. I wish I could have stayed by her side. That's my only regret. Ah, oh, but thank goodness Pepe is safe. Someday, when the mist is gone, I will go to Vidna. I will go to see Pepe. I know that you can make that day come. Well, sorry, Zalan. Oh, please wait a moment. This is a token of my appreciation. Please take it. Zalan's crown. I'm just a humble, a humble, wow, I'm a humble jeweler, but if there's ever anything I can do for you, please let me know. I actually will be coming back to him. There's uh, a couple of accessories that he can, uh, that he can forge into, uh, items that actually give you extra summons and whatnot, so I'm definitely going to be making use of that. Solomon's Crown, increase AP accuracy by 10%. Well, we have another one of those. The metal ring does the same thing. Uh, speed ring. Uh, I don't really care about putting that crown on anyone anymore, to be honest. So, uh, well, I'm disappointed that that, uh, that dream sequence didn't happen. I'm actually really confused as to why it didn't, either. So... In that case, let's uh, let's use a door of wind. We're going to go to Vidna. And that's just to speed up travel. We're wow. That slowdown, that slowdown is not normal. I'm guessing that's my disc. That's the trouble with getting uh, games used. You can't really, uh, you can't really protect the quality of the disc that you're getting. Essentially, there's no way to guarantee you're going to get a a scratch disc or a non-scratch disc or a or whatnot. There, I'm just going to take the free escape off this and uh, head on our way. But yeah, my disc doesn't have many scratches on it, so uh, I guess that one little thing it had there 
because I doubt that's the uh, the game being on fast disk speed uh, that's uh, causing that to happen. I really don't think that's the case, so uh, I think there's probably a smudge or a scratch on my disk or something like that. Maybe I should give the disk a good cleaning uh, before uh, really using it all that much. Uh, I don't know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure, why not? We are going to do what we can to kill these things pretty quick. Hopefully that kills that. And it did. So part of my grind that I was doing for money actually involved weakening one of those uh, oak slimes and killing everything else there so the slime would uh, divide and then kill the one that was present so uh, the, the new one would divide and so on and so forth and hopefully they didn't just run away because sometimes they do that. And uh, after killing like four or five of them there I was getting uh, somewhere around 500 gold or pretty close to that I think so that's what I was using to get my money in the last uh, at the end of the last episode. Oh, of course, kiss of death. Are you going to do a point of damage to Vaughn or are you going to stun him? Good. And this time is just me saving my uh, my AP, essentially. Because I know he's not going to sur he shouldn't survive uh, Gala's barrage here. No, he's dead. All right, there we go. <laughs> so we are heading over to Octum because that's where we are going to find Hari. And we've had a dream tell us to go find Hari, and everyone else is telling us to go find Hari. So. Let's go find Hari. Oh wow, only two encounters along the way, that was pretty good. You usually get three. Three or four, actually. It's Octum! Vaughn! Gala! This must be Octum! Yes, ah, this would appear to be the Octum as was told to me in, my, in past dreams. That's a weird way to phrase that, but it's not inaccurate. Ah, uh, ever the child, always running off. Hooray! We're in Octum! Yeah! Noah, have you noticed the mist? That means Hari is here, right? He's the one who can tell me what my dreams mean? Hari! So where's Hari? That's a weird thing to walk out to the side and cup your hands over your mouth to yell. Come out, Hari! I want you to tell me what my dreams mean! <laughs> no, wait! Calm down. You must calm down. But... Oh my god. Raised by wolves, people. <laughs> oh, listen. Look around you. Octum is enveloped in the mist. Could any ordinary human being survive here? But I just... Noah, forget about Hari for now. We can look for him when the mist is gone. You're so mean, Gala! <laughs> yeah, but he makes a good point, Noah. Wait, I know! The Genesis tree! If we find it, we can drive out the mist! Yeah, there you go. Think positively. Terra! Terra, tell me there's a Genesis tree close by. I'm sorry, Noah. Unfortunately, I do not sense the presence of a Genesis tree here. Oh, it's not fair. Vaughn, what do you think? Well, let's take a look around. <laughs> We're already here. Uh, besides, we might be able to find some sort of clue. We were told to come here, basically, so... 
Oh, Vaughn, you're my favorite. Yeah, because I don't tell you no. So there, Gala. You have to do whatever Vaughn says. Very well. But if we don't find anything, Noah, then... You must forget about Octum and Hari. That was a very long pause, Gala. Did you really have to uh, take that long to consider your thoughts? <laughs> Look at that face! But Vaughn, there is something that troubles me. In miscovered towns, there are always people possessed by Saru. But I detect none here. You detect none here. Do you have a people sensor? If we must search the town, let's be very careful. Yeah, see, I do agree with that. And I'm pretty sure if we told... Oh, Gala, you talk like such a big shot. Yeah. Vaughn, let's look for Hari. So I'm pretty sure if you just tell Noah there that we have to save the world first, it might just kind of come up that we should take a look around here just because we might find something something of note. Because, well, as you can clearly see, there are random encounters in town, and there are no people around. And like Gala said, a curry devil and a mad mantis. I'm going to take the free escape this time. Although I really could have used the... Uh, I probably could use the experience and the extra money. I know I don't have much money left. But uh, I just wanted to quickly... Quick do a... Wait, what? I'm going to do a quick look around here. Probably going to get into another fight in here, aren't I? Yep. Oh, killer bees. Okay, so this is where we start fighting the killer bees. The killer bees. Wow, great. Oh, man. At some point, I will be able to word. Right, that uh, has no highs. No. That's what I want. That, and... Is that a thing? Um, it is not quite what I thought. It, it is something I can do, but I was thinking it was a... Let's do that. I'm getting his, uh... I'm getting one of Gala's arts confused with, uh, with Noah's Mirage Lancer. That's what was happening. And I even had a wrong direction there anyway, so... I'm hoping... Yes, it worked. So now, he's either going to do nothing, or he's going to target the bee. Okay. And I'm going to, uh... Take a turn to... Just get everyone's AP up. Because this guy's not going to do anything. And then I'll just barrage him with, uh... We just race a hits, and that should finish him. With everyone doing that, that should be enough to, uh... Should be enough to finish him. Gala almost has six hits when he uses Spirit. That's, uh, really handy, actually. Uh... I don't know if Gala's going to kill him, actually. Okay, there we go. Now that's not too bad experience. For two enemies, 314. Yeah, nothing. I think I'm going to stop exploring this, uh, this place and just continue for now. Uh, I'll come back here. I'll probably come back and take a look around uh, off camera. That, or I'll just wait until uh, until the mist in this uh, region is cleared and uh, and just go from there. All right, I'm just going to blitz these guys on the next turn. They will not last. I'm fairly certain uh, Noah can uh, tempest break one uh, to death without much trouble. Uh, Vaughn, however...
Uh, I only have one more, don't I? Yeah. Damn. Grr. Oh, what the hell? Oh, once again, I don't have enough. That'll work. And... Wait, is it left? It's left. Alright, there we go. Oh, crap. No, it didn't kill him. Uh, I was expecting Noah to kill him with uh, the Tempest Break there. That's unfortunate. Oh, this will finish him. Or Vaughn will finish him. These guys have more health than I thought. These guys have quite a bit more health than I thought, actually. Ah, my ankle. Oh my god. Proof you're getting old, people. I moved, and my body rebelled. That happens to me a lot. That's, uh, kind of sucks, actually. Uh, what... I do... Okay, here we go. Piece of paper in the dresser. Do you want... You wish to read it? Yes. Tomorrow, we launch the plan. Travel light. Okay, then. I don't know what that blue... Th God dang it. I don't know what that blue thing was there. Couldn't interact... Oh, God. Alright, you guys gonna let me escape? Well, not first, that's for sure. Crap. Alright. Uh... Yeah. Hopefully this works out. I'm gonna have them use spirit. This probably won't kill them, actually. And it may not even hit both of them. God damn it. They will always have to screw up my form- uh, screw their form- oh my god. Screw up formations. Actually, I think that will hit. I think that is going to hit them both of them. I don't even know what I just said there. Them, both of them? And <laughs> yes, it did. And it didn't kill the Mantis. Uh, this should kill the Mantis. Never mind. Well, I'm definitely underestimating the health of these enemies now, so, uh... Although that I like. He, he might actually have enough, uh... Enough speed now to have, uh, six hits... When, uh, when he uses Spirit, so that'll actually be very nice if he can. All right, so there's some sort of plan going on. I don't know if I just missed anything up there. I probably did with my luck. Weathered letters of the stone statue read, North Gate, the key is Earth. Oh, I actually do remember what this is about. This is a puzzle for later, essentially. I'll use Gala because he has the most MP. I'm gonna start healing people. Come on. Thank you. On the pedestal, 
is Book of Prophecy, Volume 1. Do you wish to read it? Yes. We actually have to read them all. To those who walk in the mist, this is the first prophecy. Read it well. Be warned. Take heed. The mist is death in disguise. The mist is a cradle of madness. History warns us. The mist stops time. The mist brings chaos. When the evil mist appears from the west horizon, leave everything and run for your lives. The god Rem awaits you all in the hot depths of the earth. Until the heroes of the race Saru defeat the mist. Hmm, it would seem that volume... I'm going to read them in order, because I don't remember... Oh, god damn it. I don't remember what order is like. I know this one below it is not volume 2. Orb! Oh, Orb is a party heal. So, yes please, we do want. Uh, and I want everyone to get that as soon as I'm able to. Oh my god. So I may uh, come back up here uh, off camera after this is, uh, and just make sure I get the uh, orb. Because this is going to be very, very, very important, I think, for later. <laughs> uh, you can definitely get through the game without uh, without healing magic. Like You can get by with just items, because for every uh, for every spell that there is, like healing spell there is, there is, um, there is basically an, uh, 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 what, what, do, what do you call it? Uh, Oh, an equivalent, thank you. Oh my god, my brain. It's, there's an equivalent item for it, so... Oh yes, I can do six. So, we are going to do... Uh, what are we going to do? Wow. I didn't realize that was, uh... Okay, whatever. I don't know what I'm doing here, guys. I really don't. Yeah, there we go. Let's do that. Ah. Uh. Wait. Gala just outsped Vaughn? And apparently those bees are weak. Because <laughs> I did not do that much damage and it died. Well, wow. I'm kind of surprised. Alright, well now that I know where Orb is... Is this Volume 3? Yeah, this is Volume 3. Okay. So, Volume... Here is Book of Prophecy Volume 2. To those who walk in the mist, this is the second prophecy, read it well. When reality turns into a nightmare, and nightmares bring despair, the god Rem is the last hope. Rem leads humans to the depths of the earth, and in his bosom destroys the mist's nightmare. But hear this, heroes of Reisuru, those who walk through the mist. Thou must show a sign of being the heroes of Reisuru. The path to Rem's bosom is ever steep and hidden in darkness. Gather at the Gate of Shadows. The path to Rem's bosom can be found only there. And I'm pretty sure... Yeah, well, we already know this is Volume 3. What am I saying? Volume 3. This is Volume 3. Read it well. The path to Ren's bosom is at the Gate of Shadows, however the mouth of the Gate of Shadows is shut. The Gate of Shadows is a stone flower. Only words carved into the four faces make the flower bloom. Speak to the four faces, find the words engraved in the faces, and engrave them in thine heart. Or perhaps hearts. This is... East Gate is wind, north is earth, south is water and west is fire. That is something for later. I'm probably going to forget that. Alright, Mantis. Mantis and Killer Bee. Uh, oh, I don't have five yet, Gur. I, I should have known that, actually. 
Uh, oh well. Eh, we're just doing that. That should finish him, and... Sure. That did not finish him. Not even close. Oh, maybe that go Is he wind elemented, I wonder? Maybe that's why, uh... I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore, everyone. Let's, uh... Guys are kind of hurting. <laughs> All right, I need to. I actually need to heal a bit. I need to top off uh, Noah here. She's getting a little weak. Hey, go. Leveled up. Perfect. Ah, uh, Heath. Vaughn's fine. And Volume 4. Let's read Volume 4. To those who walk in the mist, this is the fourth prophecy. Read it well. The gate of shadows is a stone flower. The words of the four faces will cause it the great flower to bloom. However, for the true gate born in the flower, seek out the key. The key is the star pearl, a silent treasure that slumbers deep under the palace of Rem. The star pearl will open the true gate. Heroes, pass and take the ancient path to Rem's bosom. In the distance, the sound of some machinery operating is heard. Oh, well, that's, that's... In the distance, right? In the distance. Not right in front of us, but in the distance. Yay. <laughs> Vaughn, Gala, stairs! There are stairs there now! Wow! It's like we found a hidden passage or something. The secret will be revealed when you read the four books. Oh, so this is what the message Hari gave to Sashia meant. Hmm, that star pearl must be at the bottom of these stairs. Vaughn, let's go down the stairs. Yes! Let's go down the stairs. Let's not look for it. Let's go down the stairs. I don't know, just the choice of wording is kind of weird, I think. And oh, a alluring voice. Well, well. So you're here to look for treasures too. Who are you? What are you doing here? <laughs> What am I doing? Oh, some greeting, that is. I should be asking what you're doing here. But let me introduce myself. I'm Kara, a two-bit thief. Yeah, who would introduce themselves as a two-bit thief? Seriously. I'm Noah. This is Vaughn and Gala. <laughs> Kara, I ask you again, what are you doing here? Oh, you make me laugh. I'm doing what you are. Sneak thieving. Also, shout out to the music. Any uh, Alundra fans in the... Uh, amongst you all here? Sound familiar? Sneak thieving? What's that? It's something bad. It's stealing from people. Ha! <laughs> 
That's wrong. Sneak thieving is wrong. I hate bad people. Ha! <laughs> oh, give me a break. Stop talking like goody two shoes. Wow, they the writing in this. <laughs> you mean you're going home empty handed? Even though everyone ran away and the town is deserted? What did you just say? Everyone ran away. Oh boy, you guys are really clueless. That's right, everyone's gone. They knew the mist was coming. They took the elevator to an underground shelter to hide. Underground shelter? So he's still alive! Harry's still alive! Let's take the elevator and go find him! One track mind. <laughs> Sorry, kid. But the elevator won't work. It's locked. Probably as a safety precaution. Oh. Oh, brother. Uh, say. If it's valuables you're after, there are none here. The townspeople must have taken everything with them when they went underground. The only thing I found was, uh, some measly jewel. Called the Star Pearl or something? Wait a minute, Kara. The Star Pearl? Where is it? You want that piece of junk? <laughs> well, then I'll tell you where it is. Oh, thank you. I palmed the Star Pearl off on a jeweler in Jeremy, I think? His name was Zalin or something. Kara, wait. We still have much to ask you. Yeah, like she's gonna wait. <laughs> oh, yeah? Oh, well, I don't have anything to say to you. See you later. I don't get it. How can she travel through the mist at will without a race Saru? The Star Pearl. Vaughn, Zalin, and Jeremy has the Star Pearl. Yep. So we're going to be going all the way back to Jeremy. However, I'm going to be doing that next time because I see what time it is now. And I'm going to run out and hopefully get orb on a couple of uh, people in the process. So thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And hopefully you'll come back next time to see, uh, well, uh, where this uh, shadow gate is and what happens with that. Because that's totally where we're going next. Or gate of shadows, whatever it was called. Because I can't remember. So until next time, take care, you hear?